Thank you for taking the time to click on this video. I have many years of experience and like to keep up to date with research and developments. I am more than happy to answer any questions that you wish to post. All I ask in return is for one minute of your time to like and share, or maybe even subscribe. Again, thank you and enjoy. So why would we want to make a shallower set? Well, look at this one here when you buy the manufacturers and put them together because the manufacturer makes them 45 to go over a 20mm conduit or a 25mm conduit. It's a tad excessive and gives you tight bends. So this is an alternative. So what we want to do is get our trunking and decide where you want your first bend to go. And we're going to make it fairly shallow and we're going to make it a small bend so we're going to first of all going to mark all the way around where you're going to do your first bend from. Like that. Obviously if you're going to do a 90 you'd cut that out, but do calculation. So if we do tan is opposite over adjacent, we want to do a 10 mil. That's what I'm going to do it on. And what does that work out to be as an angle? So if we put that into the calculator, the tan of that becomes 0.2. Tan to the minus 1 of 0.2. That will give us an angle of approximately 11 degrees. Obviously there are two of those, so that gives you an approximate angle of 22 degrees. So that's what we're going to work with. So work 10 mil either side. You can decide whatever you want. Obviously the smaller the cut, the shallower the angle. And make sure you go in the right direction. So is it going up or down or left or right, or whichever direction you wish it to go. And mark it all the way around. And I'm just going to cut out those bits there. And I'm going to leave, I normally, as you've seen on others, I normally cut the triangles up, but I'm going to leave them in. So what we need to do is work out where the next cut will be. So I'm just going for a 30mm set. So we're going to use the sign this time, opposite over hypotenuse, to find that missing distance to where to start the next one. So if we rearrange that, the opposite of 30 divided by the sine of 22, which is our angle. And there we've got approximately 80 mil but we'll go for 81 because i've done approximations all the way through so 81 away from that first bend at that point so we're going to measure 81 now this 81 is not the middle of the next bend it is the end of it so we have to work our 10 mil away from that point and then make sure we go the opposite direction so obviously we get a set so this time we're going to mark it on the back. Just make sure, as I just nearly did there, that you're going the right direction. And I'm going to mark out the bits, so this time we're going to take out those little tiny sections. Now why am I leaving those bits in? Uh, because I need to be able to drill, and they're slightly bigger, so I've got 20 mil to drill out to put fixings in. So being careful only got to take that small bit out and try to go down at angles when you cut. If you don't, you go to square, you end up with a hole. Take out those sides. If you need to, bend the trunking out the way. Take, be careful taking those bits out. Remember, all of this can be done with a hacksaw. And then we're going to cut the other one out as well. But making sure we do not cut the top out. Otherwise you'll end up with two sections. Try and go at an angle all the time, because that's what the angle will be. Being careful. Cut those, and we need to take those small sections out. So again, bend the trunking out of the way. Cut at an angle, cut those two sides. And those small pieces will come out. As always, what we need to do is remove sharp edges. So give that a good file up, make sure there's nothing sharp. I'm going to score these backs here because they're very small pieces. They're difficult to bend over. So if I just slightly score through them, when you bend them in, they will bend over a lot easier. But remember, don't cut all the way through. And then make sure you get it into your connect into your position. If you're not quite there, you can also just file little bits. That will give you the tolerance you need. And there you go for your 30mm. And then finally, drill and fix. And there we go. So, this is Sparky Help. I hope that has helped. Thank you very much.